Uh, greetings everyone, Journeyman here, and welcome back to a Journeyman Journey. Today is Chapter 1, Part 3, and we're going to conclude our first season in charge here at FC Slonum 2017. Now, obviously, I joined midway through the season. The Belarus season, by the way, does end on in November, as you can see, late November. It's currently Friday, 23rd of November, and we're finishing up against FC Smorgan. FC Smorgan, by the way, in my opinion, sound like a J, um, kind of a Tolkien um, novel character, but... Um, go anyway, going into today's game, let's take a look at some of the fictions. The last time you joined us, kind of paint you a picture of how we're doing. So, obviously, the last game, it was a 1-0 over league leaders, Belshina. Uh, then we had a 2-2 draw against Nafton. Um, as you can see, goals from Oleg Garashimik continue his fine start to his career here at Slonim. And uh, Subco getting a goal, by the way, as well in the 33rd minute. Uh, first goal and only goal so far for this young defensive midfielder. After that, I got back to winning waves here. Uh, 40 win over Orsha. Goals from Andre Solove. Um, Oleg Gar Garasimchik got himself two goals. And then Maxim Mishkel got himself a goal on his debut. After that, it was our first defeat as manager of uh, Slonim. And it was a very disappointing performance, really. Didn't, we're never really in this game at all. Um, losing a 2 0 here to Baranovici. And then we uh, dream one against Lokomotiv Gomel. Like Lokomotiv Gomel are essentially a team that are going to get relegated this season, or at least I expect them to. They really aren't a good side, and this wasn't a good performance. In fact, we were really lucky to get away with a draw. Um, Oleg, uh, Oleg, however, though, continue his goal-scoring form, as you can see. And after that, most recently, we won two, went up against a Chist. Uh, I called him Christ earlier, but his name is Chist. But as you can see, this is a crazy turn of events. Uh, Chist actually finished um, with only um, seven players in the outfield. As you can see, they had a sending off in the 45th minute. Um, and then they had two sending offs in injury time, which was crazy, crazy stuff. We couldn't capitalize it. Obviously, we've got a lot more goals than we did. Uh, we actually had to pull back in this game. Um, Azerski got a goal for Chist in the 33rd minute, and then Solovoy had a really good game from the left inside forward world, got himself a couple of goals, as you can see, steering us to victory. Then most recently, it was a 2-1 defeat against US, I think that's how you pronounce that name. Um, two goals in the second half for Mikhail Charates. To, uh, yeah, this is going to be absolute. I, I tell you what, the pronunciation skills I have are absolutely subpar. I do apologize to offend anyone. I am doing my best, I promise. And um, goal from Stefan Makarov, his first goal for the club, or at least while I'm in charge in the 82nd minute, making it look a bit more respectable. But again, this wasn't a very good performance at all. So that takes us all the way up now to the game against FC Sir Morgan. Uh, take a look at the league table while we are here. As you can see, um, we will have a place. We're doing okay. Obviously, we're not going to get rele relegated. We're guaranteed to survive at least another season here. And obviously, the uh, board have offered me a new deal. So we're going to be um, staying here for at least a year, maybe two years. We'll see what goes on. But um, as far as I'm concerned, it was a good, solid start. Um, the last couple of weeks have been a bit disappointing. Um, two draws, uh, sorry, two defeats, one draw and one win over the last four games. Isn't the kind of form uh, that we started with. And obviously, I'm starting to look at the tactic and see if we can make any slight adjustments. But um, a big reason why we aren't playing quite as well is unfortunately um, we lost a very very important player to us uh, centre midfielder uh, Pavel Mikultsov now he doesn't seem like much of a player but he really was the anchor for those first uh, three games or four games that we were unbeaten and uh, he's just a very very important player to have he really helps shape the team with his uh, being a ball midfielder um, apart from that we struggled to, find, to replace him honestly we've tried a lot of different players in that role but nobody quite is as good or adapted to that role as Pavel and um, hopefully his injury troubles have been put behind him and uh, he'll be fully fit for next season. Uh, speaking of next season, I actually went ahead and signed some players uh, for next season early. I can't register them because the uh, transfer window closes and then uh, you have to register your team, as is most top leagues in Europe. Um, one of the signs I was this guy, uh, Boris Korolev, who is a striker, can also play at centre-half as well. Highly rated for my scouts. Um, really good finishing, good first touch, head-ins there too. 5 foot 11, got to pace. Out-and-out poacher will certainly push Oleg for that uh, starting spot next year. And the next signing was probably the more exciting signings in the team. Um, Avenji uh, Lebedev. Um, very, 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 very physical player, as you can see. Uh, physical attributes are excellent. Um, at 23 years old as well, he can still do a little bit of growing. Currently a four-star current ability. Potentially be a five-star. He gives us a different option because what he can do, he can play um, and the attacking midfield roles, left, right, and centre. Midfield, he can play left, right, and centre. But he's a bit more of a pressing forward and a target man, so he gives us a slightly different option to Oleg and uh, Pavel. Uh, is that his name? Yeah, I'm sorry, Pavel. Boris, sorry. 
Boris. I'm getting my names confused already. Um, but Boris Karlov. So it gives us a different option in there. So we're going to have a couple of poachers, a target man, and a pressing forward. Um, just options to have up top is important to have, you know. Um, so also looking forward to getting him involved in the first team early next season. And also, we're going to return um, Anatoly Makarov. is also going to return for us for another season, uh, bringing him back on loan. He had a really, really good, uh, some really good performances since I've joined the club, and he's uh, kind of performed a, a pretty important role for me outright right. And when he performs well, we find the team, um, it stands a better chance of winning. He's just a really, really good out and out winger. All right, so at the moment, the only player leaving the club technically is going to be um, Stefan Markarov, who's on loan from us anyway, from Torpedo uh, Zadino. And um, he got a goal, obviously, in the last game, his first goal for the club and first goal of the season. But I don't really vision him coming back into the team. I'm not interested. He's getting annoyed that he can't get much playing time, so I'm not too upset about him leaving. Um, but uh, going into today's game, obviously up against Smorgan. Um, I haven't decided who we're going to play today, actually, so we'll go through that real quick. We'll talk through that. Um, so goalkeeper, naturally... Um, Shubeko obviously has got to play in goal. Uh, we don't have, or we weren't going to have, where is he? Yep, um, Shijaka. Shijaka is not available for today's game, so he'll miss. So what we will do today is give a debut at right back to, um, where is he, Fazilov. Um, not really an out and out right back. He certainly is more of a right midfielder, but I'm sure he can do a decent job. And what that does do now, it opens up an under 20 spots available instead. So um, what we'll do here at center heart, center, center midfield, uh, board and midfield, Field. What can we do? What can we do here? We could put Degterev there. Um, Podretsky started at the Mazala. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back in Sobko for this one, perhaps. I don't really have to bring in Sobko back, do I? I could then do Zelinsky instead of Skatchkov, who's only slightly better. I'm still going to roll with it, I think. Um, this other box box but who can play as box to box midfielder? We could do Spasiuk, we could do Pogadin. Let's do Pogadin. He didn't get a game last time out, and his match sharpness isn't great, but we'll give him a run out there anyway. And up top, we'll keep the three, obviously Makarov, Solovoy, and Oleg. So, um, yeah, this is the team we'll go with. Obviously, a final game of the season. We'd love to finish off uh, a little bit of style and get a win here up against Smorgan. And uh, you never know, we might be able to climb into 10th spot here. Um, how much money do we get? Just out of interest, take a look at the rules here. So, uh, currently, if we finish what we finish we uh, get to twelve thousand five hundred pounds um if we go up a spot it's an extra two and a half thousand so that's not a bad jump there that might be worth doing obviously that's uh what is that like maybe a week's wages two weeks wages for the football club so it's worth doing it's worth giving a go for um but anyway here we go this is how we're gonna line up um so Srubka in goal uh Fazilov at right back with Krasi and Zelinski at, at uh, center half first look at Zelinski they haven't actually used them at all uh Matt Vive at left at complete wing back uh Sobko um Degterev and Pogadin in midfield with Makarov Solovoy and Oleg of course leading the line. And by the way, we did actually get our first youth intake, by the way, in Belarus, but no real potential stars came through. We had a couple of players that kind of hover around the four and grayed out five-star potential, but certainly no one that I deem will be making any kind of impact in the first team. And I've just noted it's starting to snow. How magical is that? Third episode in, final game of the season. We managed to keep slowing them up and it's starting to snow. It was snowing, don't know why it stopped, but anyway, I thought that that was kind of, that would be kind of magical, wouldn't it? See the snow. Anyway, um, here we go. So Pogadin picks a ball up midfield, looking for the run of Ola. Can't find him. So the ball goes long here. Got to defend this one. Ball goes in. Ivanov clears it. Degtov to Makarov. Okay, I'm gonna have to start getting used to these names. I'll find a better way to pronounce them. Maybe I should just call him by the first name. That might be a bit more appropriate. Um, good tackle, Levinsky. Sopko hits it long. Here's Oleg now. Garasimchik is on a new deal midweek. There's Solovay. Solovay gets in the box and a what a finish there for Andre Solovay. His contract was up at the end of the season. I'm delighted to announce that he will be joining us for at least another two years. So I'm very, very happy to bring this guy back. As you can see, he's going to be a key player for us next season. No doubt about him. Anything good that comes from us going forward normally revolves Solovay at some point. All right. Second highlight here. 20 second uh, minutes on the clock. Here is Degterev to Sobko. That's a good ball to Solovoy. He's tackled, but uh, that was a great ball there from Sobko, using his creative talents there. He's still getting used to the Mazala ball. He has made some improvements, um, but we'll have to see. Maybe we'll try and bring in a better quality under 20 minute field if I can. And there's a goal for Oleg. 13th goal of the season for Oleg Kavasimchik. Um, good return for him. So basically, 
<laughs> he's absolutely obliterated his goal scoring record as you can see his previous high was four with us and that was back in 2014 so quite the season for Oleg and uh, his goal scoring record gets a little bit better now all right, should we go now over to uh, Fazilov, who's been a bit quiet thus far on his debut. Uh, here is Makarov. That's not really where I want him, and that's why uh, Demkov dispossesses him. Lays it back across to Ivanov. Good tackle there from Dead to He hits it long here. Now Oleg is going to give chase. And uh, yeah, that's going to be easy. You can't really give Oleg that kind of supply. He's not going to latch onto it. Um, so here's maybe a chance now. For Smorgan, Kulikovsky puts it in. Demkov, the pressure is on here from them early here in the first half. Looking to get a goal back before halftime. That's a decent ball. Ivanov rises and finds it back in the net. Nikolai Ivanov gets his fifth goal of the season for Smorgan. And uh, Smorgan are back in this game. All right, here's a chance now for Gareth Simchik. He's through on goal. Oleg's through on goal. And, of course, he finds the back in the net. Never in doubt. One and one with the keeper there, and he smashes it home. Good finish there from Oleg Gareth Simchik, and that's his 14th now of the season. And uh, a debut assist today for uh, Alikan Fazilov. He's not going to get many games behind the Simchiko, but uh, good, uh, good assist there. Playing the ball forward beautifully for Oleg to run on to. All right, so um, halftime here, 3-1 up and playing pretty decently. Uh, not getting as many shots on as I would like. 55% uh, possession also isn't that impressive, but we'll keep on moving forward here going into the second half. Don't need to make any changes quite yet. So my first impression of Belarusian uh, football, there's a lot of decent talent out there. They're usually available for pretty cheap, so you should be able to construct a side um, that that you can utilize uh, pretty, pretty simply, honestly. There's lots and lots of talent, lots of free agents as well, and um, honestly, the market really isn't that competitive. Not a lot of teams are making moves. So if you're looking to try and, and um, kind of manage somewhere where you can build a squad, uh, squad quickly, Belarus certainly does give you that opportunity. All right, so here we go. Midway through the second half here. Chance, uh, perhaps, with Small going to get back in this game. Decent hit at the back post. But uh, um, Shrubeko looks like he had it well covered. I just can't get hold of that name, Shrubeko. I might just call him Alexander because that's his first name, so we might just go with that. Anyway, um, good header there from no one. Uh, Krasili now to Zelensky. There's uh, Degterev. He's played pretty well as a ball in midfield today. Um, Solove hits it long. That's a wonderful ball. Burak is now through on goal. Burak takes a shot on, and I just realized I took off Oleg when he was on a hat trick. But I wanted to give uh, this kid a look anyway. Obviously, we're going to have to look at some of our younger strikers, perhaps, to provide backup. Um, you know, just a, as an under-20 option. I may switch it to up top at some point for next season as well. So looking, trying to get a, a broader look of the, of the player talent, talent pool we have. All right, so there's a few minutes now until we're winding down our first season in charge of Salonum. And uh, obviously, we're looking forward to next season. Now, on first impression of the team that we have, as long as we keep the uh, the core together, the same team, essentially, um, we should be looking for maybe an upper mid-table finish and maybe even a push for that second automatic promotion spot. And there, isn't, there aren't playoffs here in this league, as you can see. And um, after the season's done now, we finished, where we did finish 11th place, um, quite a few points behind, in fact. 21 points behind um, Energetic, who finished in second place, respectively. Only by a point, by the way, from Belshina. Um, so, obviously, wind down the season. Not a bad way to finish off the season. Obviously, our record is pretty impressive so far, FC Sloan. And we took them over. They only had two wins on the season. So, we take a look at the uh, schedule here. As you can see, since we took over, we took over, as you can see, in the 7-5 game here against Slavia Mozra, which was absolutely insane. If you remember that game correctly, that day, I'll never ever forget that game especially as a uh, especially in a debut in uh, my managerial career um but yeah as you can see two wins in the first half of the campaign i took over and then we accumulated six wins out of our remaining 10 games and that's actually pretty impressive we only lost to two games and drew the other two so overall our form is encouraging the player personnel is obviously encouraging as well and i think as long as we keep this core together maybe maybe improve a few key areas of the side maybe let's get back in another center half and i certainly would like to strengthen the middle of our midfield uh we have lots of decent options there but no real standout midfielder i'd love to try and bring someone in to play that uh, ball in the midfielder role and just be the anchor of the team i think that's probably been my focus for the off season we do have lots of money to spend lucky enough the board didn't chop down our budgets uh we have a transfer budget right now of about six thousand pounds and available wage budget of 400 pounds that actually goes a long way here in uh belarus so we got lots of 
lots uh, of money to work with but um yeah that's going to wrap up the episode um that's going to also wrap up the season obviously my objectives next year are to push into the upper half of the table obviously the higher we get the better and uh, you never know a few shrewd acquisitions we might be able to push ourselves and get into that second place uh, second place spot and maybe even get promoted but i think the jump to the top league is probably going to be a little bit ups, uh, absurd but uh, we'll just have to wait and see won't we but um thanks so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed um the first three episodes obviously it's crazy that uh, we're at the end of the first season here um in a journeyman's journey but obviously we'll bring you guys back in as soon as we can obviously the new season for belarus doesn't start i guess till april of next year so i'm going to go through pre-season going to try improve the squad and i might bring you back midway through to try and show you the progress that we made because it's a long break i mean a five month break there that that's that's quite a hell of a break honestly um in between the seasons so i might try and bring you back halfway through um if not i'll see you guys on the beginning of the second season in charge of slonem but um so far so good for the boys so far so good in this save and encouraging start indeed let's just keep this good time rolling and uh, look forward to next season but um thanks so much for uh, watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did do me a favor hit like on it and if you want to see more from me in the future please hit subscribe to notifications on um it's been a pleasure as always i'll see you guys soon bye everyone goodbye